So I'm DJ Sutton and Richard Berg. I'm um, talking about computational science and engineering. Um, so first off, could you tell me in general what makes this track different from something like general computing? Uh, I think computational science and engineering, it's, it's a subject driven by certain types of applications of computing, okay? And these are applications where computing comes in contact with the physical world. And it's uh, to a great extent computation. Uh, applications where you're using floating point numbers. So basically, it's, easy, it's using computing to solve problems that are tend to be mathematical in nature, uh, but not necessarily. I mean, graphics is a big part of it. So, but things, you know, they're showing computing interacting with the physical world and um, serving those kinds of applications. Could you tell us a little bit about the uh, specialized foundation courses that you take here in terms of computational science and engineering? Yeah, so actually, it, it's kind of interesting. There's a couple of things. The things you see under in the foundation courses, these are things that basically you need to know to do this effectively. Um, numerical computing is, is computing with the floating point numbers. That's very important. Uh, you're going to be, you're going to be, do, you're basically, one thing about comp, uh, computational science and engineering is you're going to be pushing computers to the frontiers of what they can do. So you're going to be using the biggest computers and the fastest computers, and that's why we have high performance scientific computing together. Uh, serious, serious scientific computing is done very often on very large computers, on networks, a lot of computers working together. You don't know how to make that happen. You're talking about very large software. You need to make that go. If you look at this, this group, the core group, it's interesting. They kind of divide into two groups. Some of these things are uh, things that can help you work more effectively in computational science and engineering. And I would, I would say that's. Um, Operating, operating systems, user-centered design, you're going to be designing very likely software to do very hard things, and so make it easy to use, very important. Uh, database, yeah, you're going to be dealing with you know, designing software to handle a lot of data. Performance modeling, you want to make sure that the, the computer is doing the right thing, doing what you think it's doing to solve your problem. Uh, some of these other things are more around applications. Well, it's also complicated computer graphics. You're going to be doing things, you're going to be describing the real world, and you're presenting the real world, and so presenting a bunch of numbers is not as helpful maybe as presenting a good picture, so computer graphics is very important. However, some of these other things are things that you can do with, with computational science and engineering. Once you can do these things, for example, game programming. Games, basically, they present a picture of the real world that has to be sort of realistic. To make that happen right, you need to do, uh, essentially, numerical programming, you need to do graphics. Same thing for animation. Chaotic dynamics is part, you know, part of the real world that operates in a, in a, in a kind of a chaotic, uh, unpredictable, chaotic fashion. Uh, machine learning uh, very intensively uses numerical computing because uh, basically machine learning is, um, is, is, is essentially optimization now, the highest level, for example. Uh, machine translation is, uh, is basically making choices by optimizing optimizing over a lot of numerical values. So, the, so some of these things are helping you do your job better, and some of these courses will, will show you what computational engineering, science and engineering can do. Um, what would you say are some of the interesting current research topics in this field? Oh, well, yeah, so one of the most interesting ones is, is machine learning, I'd say, right now. Um, I'm currently you know, interested in that because it, it's amazing. People used to think machine learning was sort of coming up with a verbal you know, a verbal description of the world and manipulating that. And now we're seeing it's really all about interconnections and numerical weights. And, and that's that's how we translate things now. I find that very interesting. Uh, modeling, physical modeling of the world. The people in NCAR are basically are modeling, the am, ap, modeling the atmosphere. Um, OK, so, so modeling the real world in all aspects. Well, like an NCAR uh, control of spacecraft is a very important one. Um, uh, computational biology is another one. So those, those I would say. And you mentioned math is important for this track. But what other um, sciences or areas of engineering study would you say people in this track can really have? Math is absolutely essential, and you should come in. Yeah, you should understand. It should be pretty. It would be good to be very familiar with some part of science because you're going to be interacting with some part of science and engineering. So certainly physics is very natural. Uh, you're probably going, you're very likely, if you work in this area, you're going to be interacting with engineers and scientists. And you've got to be able to talk to these people and talk their language. So 
So physics is very important. Chemistry, in, in many cases, is very important. Uh, geology can be very important, an awful lot. Very important. There are a lot of jobs in, in, in looking for, for, for oil, for example, in geophysical model. Okay, and that's, that's probably one of my last questions, is what, what kind of jobs could someone who does this track expect to get out of the industry? So I would say this is, you know, this is basically the jobs are primarily in, in science and engineering. So, uh, for example, uh, high-tech companies like, well, a lot of our people go to work like places like Ball Aerospace, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, the National Laboratories, uh, NCAR here in Boulder, uh, San Diego Laboratories, uh, our gun laboratories, uh, people that are working on the frontiers of science. Uh, also, the oil companies, so they all use do a lot of them. Anything else you want to add? Any questions from the audience? All right, thank you.